Welcome to Mystery Math. My name is Mr. Evanowski. Today's lesson is 5.5, apply the remainder and factor theorems. Another way to put that is how to do long division on polynomials. Well, before we do a polynomial, let's try long division on some numbers. In fact, we'll do something we probably learned back in fifth grade. Let's say you want to divide 807 by 23. Well, to do that, you set it up like this. You put your 807, your hundreds, your tens, your sevens into a box and divide by 23. Now we see we have two digits. We see how many times these two digits can go into these two. And it looks to me like it might go in there about three times. So I put the three there. Then you multiply the three times each of these digits. Three times three is nine. Three times two is six. And then you subtract. And let's see what we got. We have 80 minus 69. Looks like we get 11, and then we'll bring down the next number, the 7 down here. You have 117, and then we'll see how many times 23 goes into 117. I think it's about 5, pretty close to 5. And 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1. 5 times 2 is 10 plus 1 is 115. And when you subtract that, you get a 2. And you can see there's no more numbers to pull down here to go inside of the 2. So that 2 becomes our remainder. Our quotient is 35, and our remainder is 2, or the fraction 2 over 23. Well, now let's try that with a polynomial. So here's our polynomial to try some long division with. Example 1 on paper 5.5. It says, uh, use polynomial long division. Divide 3x4 minus 5x cubed plus 4x minus 6 by 5 or by x squared, negative 3x plus 5. So, do the same thing we did in the example I gave you earlier. Put this into a box. So it's 3x to the fourth power minus 5x to the third. Now there's no squared term here, so we want to put a 0x squared there as a space holder for that. We have to count for each term. Uh, there's 4x. And then minus 6. There's our box. And then the divisor is x squared minus 3x plus 5. Now, just as you had the numbers, x squared and 3x fourth. We're going to get as close to that as possible. Well, we can get right to it by multiplying the x squared by 3x squared. So we'll put that here. And we'll multiply each of these terms by the 3x squared and put them in the appropriate column. So 3x squared times x squared is 3x to the fourth. 3x squared minus 3x is a negative 9x cubed. And 3x squared plus 5 times plus 5 is a 15x squared. And you can see how that lines up closely or perfectly with the x squared. And then you're going to subtract. You subtract by changing all of the signs. So subtract, plus, and minus. Don't forget what you do to each of those. And then we're going to subtract each column. So these go away. That's beautiful. Negative 5x cubed, 9x cubed becomes a 4x cubed. And a negative 15 and the 0 is just a minus 15x squared. Well, what we do with the numbers when we did the problem earlier? We brought down the next column. So here's going to be a 4x. So let's bring down the 4x. And let's ask, how many times can we get x squared to go in the 4x cubed? Well, how about a 4x? I'll try to match that 4x. So plus 4x. 4x times x squared is 4x cubed. It matches perfectly. 4x times negative 3x is negative 12x squared. And 4x times 5 is plus 20x. Again, you're going to subtract. And when you subtract, change all of the signs for all of the terms. That becomes a negative. There's a positive. That's a negative. And let's subtract or add uh, vertically. So this, again, we're adding negative numbers here. That's a 0. We won't write anything. This is negative 3x squared. This becomes a negative 15x and then bring down the last term all the way down, negative 6. Again, let's see. How many times does x squared go into negative 3x squared? Well, we can get exactly a negative 3. So 
So negative 3 times uh, x squared is negative 3x squared. matches perfectly. Negative 3 times negative 3x is negative, oh, sorry, positive 9x. And negative 3 times 5 is negative 15. Again, when we subtract, we're going to change all of the signs. So I'm going to subtract, and basically I'm going to be adding, changing the signs, plus to negative to plus. And then when we finish this off, those go away. This becomes a negative 26x, and this becomes a 9. Now that is the remainder. So our quotient is 3x squared plus 4x minus 3. The remainder is negative 26x plus 9. Let's try some polynomial long division with a linear divisor. So let's set it up. Uh, x to the third plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 2. And here's our linear divisor of x minus 2. All right, the x goes in the x cubed twice, so x squared, x cubed, and a minus 2x. Remember, as we do subtract and change all the signs, so subtract, add, x cubed goes, and now we have 7x squared, and bring down the negative 7x. So x to x, 7x squared, 7x. It's positive, so it's positive 7x. We get 7x squared, matches. And negative 14x. Change the signs. Gone, this becomes 7x. And bring down the 2. And x to 7x, simply 7 times. And we have a 7x minus 14 had a room, so we'll just have a negative 12 as a remainder. A couple of sections ago, we learned how to do synthetic substitution. Well, we can use the same process to do synthetic division when we have a divisor that's a linear. In other words, it should be an x plus a constant. You can't have x squared or, or anything greater than x. And <clears throat> this we need to change the sign of the constant. So in this case, it's a positive it's 3. We'll use a negative 3. Let's begin. So if you recall from synthetic substitution, we took all the, co the coefficients for the polynomial. And we had the 2, the 1, the negative 8, and the 5. None of them are skipped. All the powers are there. So we put them into our little bracket here. So we have a 2. We have a 1. We have a negative 8, and we have a 5. And the linear divisor, you use just this constant here of negative 3. You can't use it if you have any numbers, any coefficients for the x. It has to just be a plain old x. Let's watch what happens. Bring down the 2, multiply. You have a negative 6. Add, you have a negative 5. Multiply to positive 15 you have now a 7. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. You now have a negative 16. And these are the coefficients now for our new quotient. So they will be 2x squared minus 5x plus 7 with the remainder of negative 16. Polynomial long division with a linear divisor. In this case, the linear divisor just has an x uh, minus the constant 2. And then I'll show you a shortcut using good old synthetic substitution that we learned just a few days ago. All right, we're setting this up. So we're going to have x cubed plus 5x squared minus 7x plus 2 and divide by x minus 2. Going through our steps again, try to match this x cubed, multiply by x squared. So x squared, we did our match of x squared, minus 2x squared. Remember, you change the signs, cancels out the x cubed, we 
we now have 7x squared. Bring down the minus 7x, match it. So it's 7x times x, so it's positive 7x. X times, or 7x times x is 7x squared, minus 14x. Again, change the sign, subtract, add. This becomes a 7x. And we bring down 2. To match that, multiply by 7. 7x minus 14. Changing the signs, your remainder is 16. Now let's say, try that same problem with synthetic substitution, or as we call synthetic division. Take our coefficients from our original problem, x cubed, 5x squared, minus 7x plus 2, and setting up synthetic substitution, we have a 1 coefficient, a 5, a negative 7, and a 2. And here's where things change a bit. For the linear divisor, you, t you change the sign, the negative 2 should come positive 2. And let's see if we get our same answer doing the synthetic method. Bring the 1 down, multiply, that's a 2. 5 plus 2 is 7, 2 times 7 is 14. 14 minus 7, 7, 2 times 7 is 14 again. 14 plus 2 is 16. These numbers should look familiar because they're the same answer, or the coefficients anyway, for the answer we got over here when we did the long division. The 1, the 7, the 7, and the remainder of 16. This only works when we're doing polynomial long division with a linear divisor. And that in this case, it's got to be just a x term with a constant. And always change the sign. One more synthetic division. And here's our dividend and our divisor. Setting it up with synthetic, we have a 2, a 1, negative 8, and 5, those are the coefficients and the constant, and our divisor is a plus 3, so we're going to change it to a negative 3. Now let's go through the process. Drop the 2 down, multiply, get the negative 6. Add these up, get a negative 5. Negative 3 times negative 15 is positive 15. Positive 15, negative 8 is positive 7. Negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Negative 21 and 5 is a negative 16. So our answer would then be 2. Can you drop, when you write your answer, you drop the degree from 1. So this becomes a squared. So it's 2x squared minus 5x plus a 7, remainder of negative 16.